Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I posted some new videos about Norwegian celebrities or musicians related to Norway. So here it is. This is another video where I'm going to reveal you Hollywood stars that I'm quite sure you didn't even know were related to Norway and Norwegians. So here it is. Let's start. The first person I'm going to talk to you about is a Hollywood actress and if her name doesn't ring a bell for you, I'm here to remind you that you saw her actually in some very popular movies and her name is Kristen Wiig. So in my opinion, uh, one of the movies that you most probably watched and might have seen her is called Downsizing. It's a movie that was filmed in 2017 and in that movie she was playing together with Matt Damon. She was portraying Matt Damon's wife. And yeah, just a side note, a very large part of this movie was actually filmed in Norway, in Lofoten Islands. And I think I will include that fact in some of my videos where I'm discussing uh, Hollywood movies that were filmed in different uh, locations in Norway. But yeah, back to Kristen Wiig. But initially, Kristen felt like a career in an improvisation and comedy was better fit for her than acting. She successfully performed in several improvisation places and later was encouraged to send audition tape to Saturday Night Live or famously known SNL. She was accepted and later became a full cast member. Wig was even nominated for four Primetime Emmy Awards for Outstanding Supporting Actress in Comedy Series for her work on Saturday Night Live. I'm quite sure that you noticed her in the most recent Wonder Woman franchise movie uh, called Wonder Woman 1984, where she was portraying this cheetah a superhero and I think she did it quite well. So how much Norwegian actually is she and what is her story related to Norway? Kirsten Wig was actually born in the USA, New York in 1973. She was born to John Wig, who was running a lake marina in western New York. Her mother is of English and Scottish descent, but her father, and this is where her Norwegian roots are coming from, is Norwegian. It is believed, and I read somewhere, that her surname actually comes uh, from a region called Wick in Son of Fjordane in Norway. I am partly Norwegian. My grandfather was Norwegian and emigrated to the United States. If I'm not mistaken, my great-grandfather worked as a gardener for the Norwegian king in this time. It's quite special. We still have a lot of family in Norway. An interesting fact is how Wigs actually came to United States uh, starts from her grandfather. His name was Gunnar Wig. And as a child, he emigrated from Norway to the United States, to Rochester. And there he became a very accomplished uh, broadcaster for Rochester Red Wings uh, baseball team. And after that, he even uh, became a very successful radio and TV executive. So in short, this is how Kirsten's uh, relatives uh, came from Norway to the United States. And this is where her roots of Norwegian descent can be found. But the most exciting thing about Kristen Wiig is that she's one of those Hollywood stars who has actually been in Norway, like for the purpose of traveling and sightseeing. When my father turned 77, I took him on a Norwegian holiday. We traveled around the country and the beach. We visited Oslo, the fjords and many other places. Norway is one of the most beautiful places I know of. I would like to go back. Kristen is vegetarian and in 2011 she was named Petas one of uh, sexiest vegetarian celebrities. Also in 2012 she was included in Times list of the world's most influential people. Kristen Wiig is now married to an actor Avi Rothman and they have twins, a girl Luna and a boy Shiloh. Although it was quite hard to dig out some specifics, but one thing is for sure and it has been mentioned in several sources and he also has been talking about that in some interviews, yes, Chris Pratt has also Norwegian roots. 
So Chris Pratt, as we all know, is American actor and comedian and his career actually took off in 2009 when he started to portray this very uh, cheeky and cheesy uh, role of Andy Dwyer in a TV show called Parks and Recreation. So if you are up to see that, you can watch it actually on Netflix. It's quite entertaining, especially if you are into silly and goofy TV shows. Oh, babe, you had a crush on me. That's embarrassing. We're married. <laughs> After that, he also had some less significant roles in different projects, but his career truly went off in 2014 when he started to play in very successful movies like the Lego Movie and of course Guardians of the Galaxy. Worth mentioning is the persistence of Chris. In Parks and Recreation we see him as a very chubby personage. Actually, at that time he was around 130 kilograms, but for the role of the Guardians of the Galaxy he got into shape within six months by losing around 30 kilograms. In 2015 he was already included in Time's most influential people list. Then things became very serious and now he was a very established celebrity that everybody knew and then we saw him on such a great movie says Jurassic Park. He actually, first time he filmed in Jurassic Park in 2015 and then he returned in 2018 again for another Jurassic Park movie. And then there were all parts of Guardians of the Galaxy, Avengers, Endgame, Avengers, Infinity War, and Thor, Love and Thunder. And also he was a leading actor where he was playing together with this wonderful actress Jennifer uh, Lawrence. The movie was called Passengers and actually this movie is directed by a Norwegian director called Morten Tildum. So what is his story? Christopher Michael Pratt was born in Virginia, Minnesota, United States in 1979. He was the youngest child of Kathleen Louise, who was working in a supermarket chain, and uh, his father was a miner and he was also renovating houses. Where are the Norwegian roots, you may ask? I'm here to answer that question. Chris's mother's surname before getting married was Indal, and this is where his Norwegian roots are coming from. And actually Chris is more than aware of his Norwegian DNA. During the filming of Jurassic Park there was an accident, he actually fell from a motorbike and he wasn't wearing a helmet, all was fine, no like serious injuries, but uh, after that in an interview he said that actually his Viking body helped him to survive this accident. I'm not that good at motorcycling, my confidence surpassed my skills, I squeezed the front brake so the wheel locked, I slipped in the mud and snorted over the bike. It must be the Norwegian feet and my head that kept me injury free. In another interview he also said that his Norwegian genes helped him a lot to prepare for the role of Owen uh, in the Jurassic Park. I am half Norwegian. When I was training for this movie, the coach made me calm down and he thought I was good at it. I think it's in my blood. Norwegians have strong legs and strong arms. As I mentioned, I couldn't find any like detailed information about uh, his uh, Norwegian descent, uh, where is it coming actually, because I didn't find any like specific information about his mother. But one thing is for sure, he is a little bit Norwegian and he loves his mom a lot. You no, know, I'm friends with your brother and some people on that side. Come of the family. on, stop. And he posted, look, I'm mom's favorite because I bought I, her these bowling shirts. That. And you said, I'm mom's favorite because now I, like 1.5 million people have no, seen those bowling shirts. 22 million people. Right up first and foremost, mom, <laughs> Who, who's your favorite son? Hi, mom. <laughs> who's your favorite? I have Whoa, is this wow, is Kali my right. favorite. Well, hold right on, you, I think you need to elaborate on that. Kali is my favorite firstborn son. Oh. And Chris is my absolute favorite secondborn son. Absolute mm. favorite, yep. Kali. Did you know she said you're... <laughs> Her favorite, but I'm her absolute favorite. Chris Pratt first married in 2007 to a famous actress and comedian Anna Ferris that he met on the film set of the movie Take Me Home Tonight. They had a son and they named him Jack. 
The couple split up and in 2019 Pratt married to Katherine Schwarzenegger, the eldest child of, yep, you guessed it, Arnold Schwarzenegger. In 2020 Pratt again became a father as Katherine gave birth to their daughter Lila Maria. Pratt is also giving a lot to charities for children and to fight hunger. Everybody knows that Norwegian jeans means that you most probably will look very beautiful. And this is why we have so many Hollywood stars and models and actresses all around the world with Norwegian descent. And this is where I would like to tell you about another rising star who is a Norwegian. So this girl is conquering Hollywood for sure. She is a Norwegian model and actress and there is quite high possibility that you have already seen her in some movies or TV shows. She is known for playing Kelly Aldrich in Netflix's TV show The Society and also in HBO's Looking for Alaska where she was playing Alaska Young. Christine was born actually in the United States to Norwegian parents, so she is like a real Norwegian. And all her childhood she's been traveling a lot from Oslo, Norway to New Jersey in the United States. So we all know that Norwegians are popular with their love to nature and uh, walking and hiking and running. Uh, Christine in an interview actually revealed that the life in New Jersey was quite hard in comparison to Norway because parents were constantly worried about her safety so she wasn't allowed to go out and uh, do the things like she was used to do uh, when living in Norway. In Norway we lived in the woods so we could run around and play. New Jersey was a lot more competitive. The playdates were scheduled, the parents were nervous and I was a lot less independent. There's no off button with Americans. It's crazy. For me being around nature and horses is the best off button there is. She started modeling after she was discovered at a catwalk audition in a ski tour center in Norway. She was very good at it and soon after she already moved to the United States. She was approached in the United States by IMG models representative and they offered her to become a model because obviously she looked very pretty. She has modeled for many famous brands like Armani, Miu Miu, H&M, Victoria's Secret, Prada, etc. etc. But apart from the TV shows, she has already some experience in Hollywood movies, so maybe you saw her in some of these movies I will be mentioning now. On 2017 she debuted in her first movie and it was called Rebel in the Rye. Just a side note, if you do not know Rebel in the Rye, it's a movie that tells the story of J.D. Salinger, the author behind the cult classic Catcher in the Rye. So in the movie Christine had a small part as Shirley Blandley and she played with Nicholas Holt. He was portraying Salinger in the movie. In 2016 she appeared in a music video of the world-famous artist Weekend for the song called False Alarm. And in 2019 Frosted starred also in an American horror movie called Prey that wasn't highly reviewed, but still, she was one of the leading characters. You have to start somewhere, right? And afterwards she was participating in Netflix's movies uh, Sierra Burgess is a loser and Apostle. But what I like about Christine is that although she is very young, she is also brave. As I mentioned, since childhood she was working as model. In 2017, the hashtag my job should not include abuse began with models posting anonymous stories with harassment in fashion industry. Christine was brave and told her experience. When I was 15 and I was getting all these inappropriate texts and calls, I just went along with it because everyone else was. You can be in situations where you are told to undress and it is hard to be on a set and not feel the pressure. Agencies should teach their models, boys and girls, how to take action because it's happening and we cannot ignore it anymore. Do you feel more American or Norwegian? It's weird, I feel more American when I'm in Norway and then more Norwegian when I'm in the States. This is it for me today, I hope you enjoyed all of these celebrities from Hollywood that you most probably didn't know were Norwegians or maybe knew. If you knew, write down in comments. And of course, make sure you checked all the other videos related to the same topic. And that being said, I hope you have a lovely summer day and see you next time. Thank you.